too weak. You don't have enough hate. <laughs> My dear striker, I hope you've been well. Now today I got a little different video for you. We're going to be guessing the season 7 characters for Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker. Now a lot of people mad because we didn't get no range types last season. So mad in fact that they want to quit the whole damn game. But y'all, what if I said I got some nice predictions for some characters to join the game that might end up changing the game forever. Now two of these characters are range type and one an attack type. Now. I don't really want to take all your time, so let's get on with what these characters are and what their abilities might be. But before we get started, I just want to point out that there will be no Boruto era characters in this list. Why? Because I personally do not believe that any Boruto era characters will be in Shinobi Striker or Storm Connect. Because I think that they're only going to go for the cash grabs, y'all. Boruto era characters will most likely be in a Boruto standalone game, one that doesn't have Naruto in the title. But now that that's out the way, let's get on with the list. The first character that I have for my prediction, you guys, is Momoshiki Otsutsuki. His first jutsu is called Ino Kaitakero no Mikoto. English translation is Dog Raising Robust Lord. This is a summoning jutsu or a wood style jutsu that Momoshiki uses to summon these dog-like creatures to chase you down and once they catch you, they explode. The second ninjutsu is a jutsu called Peasant Hunt. Now this is when he sends a flaming phoenix at you and it explodes on contact. This jutsu is way faster than your average fireball jutsu. The ultimate jutsu that he has you guys is Takami Musubi no Kami. English translation is Reign of the High Emperor. This secret technique is very similar to Family Rasengan but I assure you this ain't that. This will be a totally unique jutsu you guys. Here's how it works. Momoshiki raises his hand in the air and summons a huge mass of chakra you guys. But you have to charge this ball up to 100% to get instant kill. Charging the ball will leave you open for melee attacks. But Ninjutsu will only get sucked in by the ball and charge faster. This have a defense buff similar to Karma Boruto's ultimate jutsu. And since the chakra natures flow around the ball in the anime, you can use the chakra nature as one of your ninjutsu buttons to strike the enemies that try to hurt you. So basically you press the secret technique button, you raise your hand in the air, charge the ball, and as the ball is charging you sit in one spot and target those who try to hurt you with the chakra natures from your jutsu buttons. Just like the anime. And you still have the option to throw the ball at your opponent. Momoshiki sub is time space and his ninjutsu Ninja tool is red chains, the same chains that he tried to use on Sasuke. My second character prediction is Cole. Cole has a first jutsu called Black Band. This jutsu starts off with a claw strike from the reverse scale that Cole has. And whichever one person that he swipes, he will be able to appear from that person's body no matter where they are on the map. One press of the jutsu button is a claw strike. The second press is when he appears from the person's body. Marked enemies will have a black band on them and you will be able to see if their opponent is marked. And once he appears from your body, you are stunned and he is able to combo off of you. Second jutsu is white karma. This will make the white karma appear on your body, boosting your defense, attack power, and speed. And if you press the button again, you will be able to escape any combo or dash to your opponent, making this jutsu to be able to use offensively and defensively for range types. Cold secret technique is childish reflect. This jutsu would enable you to summon Damon from your body. And if you have Damon on your body, the players will be able to see it and know that if they attack you, their jutsu would be reflect the moment they press the button to attack you. The only loophole for this jutsu is that the enemy must have you locked on for the jutsu to work. And whoever has you locked on will be hit no matter what they do. If they press square to attack, they will be attacked. If they press a jutsu to shoot a fireball, they will be the one being hit by the fireball. Whoever uses reverse scale to stun you, they will be the one that's hit and stunned. His substitution jutsu is swift step and his ninja tool is another reverse scale, just like Kawaki's ninja tool. The third and final character for this DLC is Boroshiki. 
Boroshiki will be an attack type, and his first ninjutsu is Rasen Dun, or better called Rasen Bullet. Boroshiki raises his finger in front of him, compresses a Rasen Gun, and shoots it like a speeding bullet. This Rasen Gun is extremely fast, but it has very low damage. Second ninjutsu is Wind Style Gale Palm Jutsu. This jutsu is a combo that ends with the Wind Style Gale Palm, the same Gale Palm that Boroshiki used on Naruto. Substitution jutsu is Alien Levitation. This jutsu will enable you to high speed teleport out of an attack and start flying. Now this jutsu operates like Kaguya Dimension Swap Sub from the last DLC. The only difference is that you're flying at high speed with a blue aura around you. The sub lasts for a good amount of time, however, the cooldown time is massively long. Boruto's ninja tool is regular shuriken, and his ultimate is karma, true essence. He is able to tap into the essence of karma, boosting his defense, attack power, and speed, and the mark will show across your body, just like Cole's jutsu. Your jutsu buttons are replaced with an ultra massive Rasengan, and if you press the O button again, you will be able to fly at high speed at the enemy with a flying Rasengan. And I know you guys are tired of another Rasengan, but honestly, they should have never had so many people learn that jutsu. And that concludes this prediction list.